how it is. Oh, got he. Boom. So that's how you take that flywheel off. Um, I'll do a quick how-to on the bike. That's an, ex an extra motor I had. Um, in my case, the uh, that little gear broke. And so when the starter goes around, it misses a tooth and it makes like a clanky noise. So I'm just gonna replace it because I have a whole bunch of other ones. What you're gonna need um, is this puller tool. You can get it on Amazon, I'll post a link. Uh, um, it doesn't cost that much, it's like 30 bucks. Really useful tool. If you're always working on motorcycles, you'll probably use this again. Um, and like you saw, you might need this guy. And it pretty much, um, you hold it like that, right? So you can hold it, and you put a 17 mil on top, torque it down, and break it loose. Um, my impact is old and tired, so I didn't want to do nothing. And you might, you're gonna need this eight mil to take all these bolts off. So I'm gonna work on taking those bolts off real quick, and then we'll go from there. So you got all your bolts off, now you can pull it out. Oh, I missed one. Look at that. Oh, nice and loose. All right. uh, it's gonna spill out oil, so I'll make sure you have like a drain or something. Come on, baby. So you just kinda wanna wiggle it out. Yours might be stuck, I already took this cover off. Uh, you might need a hammer or something like to pry it on like over here, but be really gentle. You don't want to mess up the uh, mating surfaces. And uh, boom, just like that. Ew, look how nasty. Definitely have an oil leak. That sucks. Now, you're gonna want to take that bolt off. Uh, I believe it's a 14, and I'm gonna use my impact. If you don't have an impact, that really sucks because this bolt's kind of hard to get off. Um, what you can do is find a spot here to uh, wedge something in between this gear to get it nice and stuck so you can turn this by hand and break it loose. Um, I just used this impact. Hopefully it works for us. If not, that's going to really blow. Oh, hell yeah. Easy peasy. Now, you get your tool. It's a M35 by 1.5 pull uh, flywheel puller tool. So, so all right, all right. Um, make sure it's seated. Make sure this isn't all the way in so you're like falsely seating it because you don't want to rip these threads off. If it's like one or two threads only on, you might have, you might pull them out and that would suck. So I would just make sure this is out all the way and this is tight. So there you go. Then all you need is a 17 um, socket. It goes right in there. Twist it on. Now here, here's the thing. Sometimes you'll need this to hold the tool and you might have to break it by hand, okay? There's a big freaking um, crescent wrench. So you might need this. Hopefully we don't. Hopefully we can just break it loose with this. So here we go. I kind of hold it right here because, you know, this could fall once you break it loose. No. Let's move this gear out of the way. There we go. Oh, 
Nope. My impact's just way too weak. If you had a, a maybe a newer one, this thing's like five years old. Four years old, five years old, I don't know. Used heavily. So, I'll do it this way. Hold it, uh, and then just break loose. <sighs> Easy peasy. Now you can pull it. Boom. It's great. Now where's that broken? Oh, see? Right there. It broke. I don't know if I did it. I'm pretty sure I did it. Um, this motor was, was seized. I did like a little rebuild on it. And uh, yep. Yeah. That is it. Make sure you don't lose. Where is it? This little guy, do not, do not lose that. Very super important. That makes sure this doesn't spin on the shaft, on that shaft right there. So you do not want to lose this. Very super important. Don't lose that keeper, okay. So, I'm just gonna get my different gear. That We pulled this one off in the begin beginning of the video. Uh, might want to clean it. I don't know, mine's dirty. I'm just going to spray it down. There you go. Not super clean, need a rag. Inspect uh, in there. Make sure that there's, it's not gouged or nothing crazy. This one looks fine. Uh, rag and clean it up. Okay. Now you put this back on. I believe this is a one way. Uh, so it'll spin freely this way and not not the other way. You see how it gets stuck. Now if it spins both ways freely, it's fucked up. Get a new one. <laughs> um, so there we go. It kind of sucks that the keeper is in the bottom because you know gravity. And um, so you got to be careful. Okay. All right, that's on there. Now, uh, oh, this looks kind of weird. Oh, no, it's good. Uh, okay. All right. Line it up. Line the keeper. There's a cutout on the flywheel where that keeper is going to slide through. So you got to line them up. If you don't line them up, it won't go through. So, there, boom. Nice and lined up. Beautiful. Make sure if you got any uh, nasties, you clean them off. All right. Uh, get your bolt. And ug a dug it on. Where's that 14? Losing everything. Dang, I lost that 14. Man. Where did it go? Where'd you go? I miss you so. What the hell?
fan line. Oh wow. It was it was right here. I can't believe it. How did I miss that? Alright. Oh, okay. So get it started. You wanna always get it started. Make sure it's like nice and easy. And then say like three ugga duggas. The reason I'm doing that is because I don't have a, oh wait, yeah I do. tool to hold it so that's pretty that's pretty on there you really want to torque it if you have like a way to torque it that'd be better I just don't and uh, I'm like whatever but like I said you could probably right there move if you move this around there's a hole in it. You could probably put something in there, wedge it up, and uh, so you can torque it. I trust this, so we're golden. Um, don't forget your gear. This is your starter gear. And like so. Boom. That's it. Put your cover back on and you're ready to play. All right, that's pretty much it. Um, have a fantastic day. The Motorcycle Mechanic, out.